Hi Aquarius, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings, Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do your week ahead reading. This is the um, uh, 29th of July through to the 5th of August and we do the weekly check-in reading. Uh, for your current style for the week and theme for the week, we are using The Witch's Tarot by Ellen Dugan. Key goal, obstacle to overcome and major accomplishment for the week. Anna K Tarot, uh, what to avoid for the week, what to embrace and where you can find support if you need it. The Eight Coins Tattoo Tarot by Lana Zalna. Your um, spiritual guidance for the week is using the Answer is Simple by Sonia Chaquette. For the 15 card, uh, are the general energies, work, finance, love reading at the end. We use the Spirit Within Tarot by Stephen Bright. And for your spiritual guidance from those cards, from that reading, the Angel Answers by Doreen Virtue and Radley Valentine. That's it. Let's get on with your reading and we're going to speed up the shuffle. Okay, Aquarius, we've got your reading down. It's funny, because with your spiritual advice, two kind of cards came out in my hand, so we'll use those. So let's have a look. Who are you during the week? Ah, oh, you're the Knight of Cups, the seducer of the tarot. Um, you know, some of you guys, it might be that, and if you're the Knight of Cups, usually you're the chaser. You're, usually you're showing somebody how you feel. So Aquarius, you might be, I'm not saying that you're chasing anyone, but you certainly might be exhibiting and expressing your emotions and expressing your feelings to an individual uh this usually he can be quite a you know a, a very wishy-washy type and i often see him as very wishy-washy as an individual to be perfectly honest with you but you know when he's in it he's in it when he meets someone and he falls in love that's the person for him so some of you guys it might be that you're falling in love with someone this week or you're you know you've developed feelings for an individual this might be an acquaintance this might be somebody in the workplace this might be someone that you hardly know because usually the night of cups shows up when he's the new lover you see in the tarot so this might be you guys because you are showing us the knight of cups so you guys might be you know using your powers of seduction on an individual this week aquarius you might be showing your emotions expressing your feelings to an individual wearing your heart on your sleeve with that knight of cups energy alternatively he's very creative and he tends to want to follow his heart's desires so some of you guys might be following your heart's desires in terms of some form of a creative or spiritual uh, pursuit or work pursuit, any pursuit really, you could be following your heart in, you know. Uh, what is the theme of the week? Right, it's about work, Ace of Coins. So, uh, but this can also be commitment. I don't want to turn it into a love reading if it's not, but usually the Ace of Coins is all about work and money. So I feel that you guys are really, and also if you show as the Knight of Cups, you might be showing as asking for something because cups held out, they can either be receiving or they're giving. So some of you guys, it might be that you're holding out your cup because maybe you're giving money. Uh, maybe you're asking for money because cups and pen. When you get a person with, with a cup and it faces on a pentacle, it can easily show somebody who's asking for money. Especially when you get a, a coin, ace of coins, a hand being held out, or a page of coins facing off against that knight, or a page with the cup. There's a financial transaction here. So it might be some of you guys are involved in a transaction here. It might be to do with a job. You might be asking for a job. You might be open to a job. You might be receiving a job, for example. You might be receiving some money here with the Ace of Coins energy showing up here. Because this is a money card. So we can't turn it into love if it's not love, just because it's the Knight of Cups. You've got two different things. But remember to look at that cup because the cup is facing into the coin. So this week, you guys might be asking for money. You might be receiving money. Somebody might be giving it to you. It might just be within reach. Uh, it might be that you're following your heart's desires in terms of building a new foundation. It might be building a business with the Ace of Coins energy showing up here. Could be all sorts of things. Let's have a look at what the key goal is for you, Aquarius, this week. Uh, three of Swords. I think it's to separate from someone with the Three of Swords energy. Um, and, you know, and this could be a person. Yeah, I mean, look, can you see how she's walking off from this geezer? I feel that your key goal is to separate yourself from an individual. This is the individual here and this is you. So your key goal is to separate and cut yourself free from an individual with that Three of Swords energy. Uh, what's the obstacle that you need to overcome for the week, Aquarius? Uh, this person, uh, you're gonna, I think the obstacle you need to overcome is that what I'm getting here is that you're wanting to, and this does look like love now, to be honest. Because I'm seeing with the Three of Swords, and Three of Swords can often be the love card. It doesn't just mean, you know, um, 
you know, pain, painful arguments or third parties. It's also a painful ending, separation. And because your goal is to do the Three of Swords, it is literally... And sometimes the Three of Swords is all about opening up the heart, but I don't get the impression with that that that's the case with this particular reading. I think that the goal for you guys, Aquarius, is to cut yourself free, is to separate yourself. This is you, Aquarius, from this, from this dude here. All right, it's to cut someone off. And I feel the obstacle that you need to overcome is that this person, this person here, I think is this person here. And the obstacle that you need to overcome, because the Five of Swords can also mean uh, language, because the Swords deal with communication. So when you get the Five of Swords, this can be somebody who's trying to put you down. So somebody's saying, oh, you want to leave me, do you? Oh, wow, good luck with that. Nobody else is going to want you. Do you see what I mean? People use manipulative words with the Five of Swords. So you need to overcome the obstacle. And this could be you here. Because you're wanting to cut away from an individual, you need to overcome the obstacle that this person is going to try and put you down. They're going to try and keep you down as much as possible by using probably quite detrimental, unfair and untruthful words. They'll probably use the words against you for some of you Aquarians that they know are going to hit you the most. Oh, you're too fat to go anywhere or you can't be loved or you're unlovable. Who's going to love you? You know, you want to cut away from me, but who's going to love you? And I actually feel that you're, you know, this kind of feeds in with this energy here, Aquarius, where you guys are showing us the night of And I feel that actually you show us having a desire this week. And I feel that you show us being somebody who's pursuing a desire. And the Ace of Coins is to build a new life because Aces represent new beginnings. And when you get the Pentacle, it's all about building a new foundation. This could be a home move. So you're, you might be following a desire to move home, for example. With that Ace of Coins energy. You are very emotionally open and receptive to move home. Your desire might be to get money or to get funds together. Because I get the impression you want to move away from someone. Because your goal is to cut yourself off, off. Cut yourself free. Separate from an individual here. But be careful because this person isn't going to let you go without a fight. I think with that Five of Swords energy. And they'll use it through detrimental language on you. Or language that they probably feel affects you. Um, what is it? Uh, what's the accomplishment for the week well it's interesting you're accomplishing uh, the two of cups which is an agreement it's not always love two of cups can be partnerships agreements there's let's just say you're accomplishing this can also be a reconciliation as well depends it's a tricky one because the two of cups could be that you are accomplishing a reconciliation even though you want to cut yourself free you might be reconciling with the dude that you want to cut yourself free from but also the two of cups that might be that you know because you're pursuing maybe money or to leave this individual or you're pursuing your idea or your ideals your desires for you know a, 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 you know a home move with the eyes of coins to start building a new life of your own remember the pentacles represent life they're earth energy, they're how we're born, they're the seeds that grow. So your desire is to pursue a new life with the Ace of Coins energy. It might be that you're getting an agreement to get some money together to actually leave that type of thing. Uh, what does it you need to avoid? Seven of Coins in the reverse. So Seven of Coins in the reverse is giving up. Because in the upright, this is all about some progress, waiting while progress happens. But in the reverse, this could be like, well, I'm waiting too long, nothing's happening, so I'm just going to give up. So I feel that you guys need to avoid giving up Seven of Coins in the reverse showing up here, okay? So as you, because Seven of Coins in the reverse can also mean that you're nearly there, but just before you get there, just before you smile and you get that success, Aquarius, you just don't think to yourself, no, this isn't going to happen, fuck it. So you guys need to really avoid just giving up at the last hurdle with that Seven of because you're 70% there, guys. But you really need to kind of avoid giving up because you're nearly there and you could just give up and you could just decide to stay wherever this is when victory is so close. Um, oh, they're reversals. They're all reversals. That's interesting, actually. Yeah, they were put they were put the right way. Yeah, they're reversals, all right. That's interesting. You need to embrace uh, the five of coins in the reverse. I think this is five of coins, isn't it? Is it three of coins or five? I can never tell. Yeah, it's the, is it the four of coins? Ugh. I think it's the four of coins. I can't see the... Th yeah, it is the four, sorry. Can you see there? The fourth coin is in the eye. <laughs> this is the only problem with these cards. There's the one, two, three, four. You need to embrace with the four of coins in the reverse that you need to... You might need to spend some of your savings. If you've been saving money, guys, you might need to delve into that with that four of coins in the reverse because this is money. All right? In the upright, this is all about saving and holding on to your cash. In the reverse, you don't have time to do that. 
Four of Coins energy in the reverse. Also, Four of Coins in the upright can be your safe haven. It can be your home, your safe place. But it might be that you need to embrace it. You're going to have to move from your safe haven with that Four of Coins in the reverse. Because this is not having the security. Okay, so you might have to embrace, especially if this is leaving a relationship for some of you guys, it might be financially wise that you need to embrace it. You might be financially destitute or insecure or unstable for a time with that four of coins in the reverse, especially if you are looking to leave a long-term relationship and your desire is to start building a new foundation, i.e. moving home, uh, you know, building a new life of your own. Maybe your desire is to get some money. Maybe there's an agreement on that with someone with the two of cups for some of you guys. And it might be that you need to embrace that maybe just maybe with the four of coins energy could also be that number one, you might have to dive into savings. Number two, with the four of coins in the reverse, you might be financially unstable for a while, just a while especially if you leave like someone uh, that you've been with for a while. This looks to me like, for some of you guys, you might have been married to someone, but this person has been abusing you, probably because you're going to have to overcome the obstacle of some verbal abuse, which is what the Five of Swords is. But the Five of Swords, in terms of verbal abuse, isn't like really... It can be really horrible verbal abuse, but it's like where somebody really puts you down. They know exactly where to put the knife, verbally, because they know exactly what pushes your buttons, and they know exactly what you don't like about yourself, and they use those words to keep you where you are so you don't leave. But it looks to me like some of you guys want to leave a relationship, but you need to overcome the obstacle that somebody's going to make you feel that you can't do it, because it's this Five of Swords guy. Uh, sorry, you need to avoid that, um, overcome that obstacle, but you need to avoid the Seven of Coins in the reverse as well. So overcome the obstacle, because this is what they want. They they want you to do the seven of coins in the reverse they want you to stop at the last hurdle when achievement is in reach of you getting your goal of leaving them they they can see it they're fearful this is why they're doing what they're doing uh, and that you need to avoid giving up at the last hurdle and that last hurdle that you would give up on even though it's a money card would be because of something that this individual said and you need to avoid that um aquarius okay because that's what their intentions are to do to stop you in your tracks when victory is so close for you they don't like it they don't like you with all this freedom here they don't like that you've got these desires to build a life of your own and to build a new foundation and to move they hate it okay but a lot of this is your own fear as well because you need to kind of embrace it you're going to have financial problems for some of you guys with the four of coins energy in the reverse you haven't got to you, you know you might if you live in a bought home with this person you might have to move into a rented accommodation with the four of coins in the reverse because it's not a stable it's not a stable home it's not your own home you don't own it four of coins is all about ownership and with the four of coins in the reverse you don't own it so it might be you have to move into rented accommodation all of that business you see where i'm coming there's going to be a huge change up for some of you guys and it probably won't happen within a week but it will be the energies that are starting to come into play this week and there's going to be a lot of stuff for you to think about if you need support where can you get it the star reversed is where you can get it i think that is uh the, the if you need um uh, advice go to somebody who's really grounded not somebody who's got their head in the clouds but somebody who's going to really tell you as it is and actually the star reversed is you as well because um the star is an Aquarius card. So that would be you. All right, as well. So if you need advice, I think you should go to somebody who's got their, you know, who's completely grounded, who's got their head out of the clouds. Because star is a brilliant card, but it can also be one of fantasy and illusion as well. Especially when you just, you know, you look and get everything in, in virtually in a fantasy realm and you're not really being realistic. So you need to go to somebody who can be really realistic about your situation here with the star energy in the reverse. So somebody who's just going to be able to tell you like it is. You know, with that star reverse. I'm not reading this card in terms of somebody being kind of like, you know, not being hopeful and being kind of like really negative. Not at all. But this person's going to be real with you and say, look, if you really want to do this, this is what you're going to be facing. All right. Are you ready for it? Because it's all about being ready. I think some of you guys have really had enough of a situation here. What is the advice? Take a breather and take bite-sized steps. So I feel that when it says take a breather, it's just taking, telling you to take some time out. Because I do feel that you have been kind of going through the, the mill Aquarius with an individual. I really feel that from this reading. 
I feel that you, you know, for the week you guys are showing us the Knight of Cups, you have your, your, you know, a heart's desire here, and this is to build a new foundation, to build a new life, to move home, Ace of Coins, to get some money, to get funding, Ace of Coins energy showing up here. Possibly this is to get a new job, especially if this is a work reading, for example. I mean, this might be a relationship, but it might also be a work reading. Whoever the person is, work or love, your goal is to cut yourself free, to separate yourself from them with the Three of Swords energy. But you need to overcome the obstacle that this person is knows exactly what they're doing when they're manipulating you. They know what buttons to push with you, Aquarius. This person will try and verbally put you down. They'll try and make you feel like you can't leave, you can't go away, you can't do this, you can't do that. Now, uh, the accomplishment, if it's a job, you might be accomplishing another job here. You might be accomplishing another agreement. Some of you guys, it might be that you're moving on with somebody else with the Two of Cups energy. Some of you guys might be accomplishing an agreement here to get some money so you can move. Because the Knight of Cups is also a traveler and a mover. So you guys are in travel and movement mode here. You need to avoid giving up when you're so close to victory. Seven of Coins reversed. Okay, because you don't see the victory there and then this week. It doesn't mean that you should just completely abandon the plans with the, the seven of coins in the reverse just because somebody says that you can't do it. All right, and you need to embrace the four of coins in the reverse that you're going to be coming out of a comfort zone. This is something you've been really comfortable in for a long time, Aquarius. But you need to embrace that wherever you go next, this is going to be something that might be completely alien to you and it's going to take time for you to get used to it. Four of coins in the reverse also means to come out of a comfort zone. You also need to embrace that some of you guys might be, especially if you're moving out of a relationship and you're having to move into you know rented accommodation out of a bought home, you're going to have to embrace that this isn't going to be your secure environment, okay? That you might have to, for some of you guys, if it's a money thing, delve into your savings a little bit with that four of coins in the reverse. You might not have the safety net that you were, have had before in this situation. So embrace that you're not going to have that safety net as well with the four of coins reverse that you had before within this situation. And if you need advice, go to the star reverse. This isn't a negative person. Just go to the most honest and down-to-earth individual you know who's going to tell you what's what and how it is and who isn't going to embellish stuff or give you stuff because it makes you feel good. You know, take a breather, take time out, and it's saying take bite-sized steps. It doesn't have to all be done in one. You just need to plan a clear strategy and take things one step at a time. All right, we're going to have a look at your 15-card reading, guys. And what we're going to do on that reading, we're going to uh, take these cards up and shuffle the next cards. And we're going to speed up the shuffle so you get your reading quicker. Bear with me. Okay, guys, cards are down. Let's have a look. So other general energies coming in. Okay, you had that in the last reading, the Two of Cups. Could be uh, connecting with another individual, could be a new relationship with that Two of Cups energy showing up here, could be a partnership, could be communication with someone here. Oh, nice. So there could be a reconciliation. Two of Cups and the Three of Cups can show reconciliation on the cards. Two people who are reconciling and coming back together with the Three of Cups. It can also be two becoming three. So there might be something about a pregnancy coming into view, Aquarius, this week as well. Uh, the fall and you do have the newness of the fall energy new beginnings as well so this could literally be something to do with pregnancy as well because two of cups be two become three and we do have two people who are celebrating as well with the three of cups about a new addition or a new opportunity so there's something to do with pregnancy or it could be uh you're celebrating with another individual about uh, this is celebration as well i'm seeing reconciliations between you and someone here or an opportunity to do that taking the risk as the uh, uh, for the second time around as well, because remember he's a circle, zero goes round and round and round, so he'll often revisit situations until he gets the lesson. So this could be a reconciliation uh, going round again with the full energy showing there. Could be that you're celebrating uh, Three of Cups, celebrating a partnership, or you're celebrating some form of an agreement with the Two of Cups energy showing here. New opportunity could also be to become three um, pregnancy. The fall also is a pregnancy card showing up here. Six of Wands. I've got a, you got really good cards for your general. There's a victory showing up here as well with the Six of Wands energy showing up here. Oh wow, Ace of Coins. So this could be something to do with work. Some of you guys are gaining some victory here, recognition of victory here. It's to do with money. It's to do with work. It could be a job. There's an opportunity here. It could be that you've been... So this is really good. I mean, this is really, really good, Aquarius. 
because you've got the celebration card. It looks like there's a partnership and agreement here. This could be work. We do have the Ace of Coins. It's a work situation, a money situation showing up here. We've got a celebration here, clinking of glasses. So an, a, an agreement here, a celebration, clinking of glasses, agreement, money, um, uh, an opportunity here as well, finance for work, and there's a victory here as well. Some of you guys, it might be that you're getting that dream job, that type of thing this week. Some of you guys, it could be pregnancy, probably with those three cards showing there. Some of you guys, it could be a reconciliation as well with those cards as well showing here. It's a really good week. Some of you guys, it's work and it's money. You're being successful. Uh, Ace of Coins could be a loan. It could be a job. It could be just receiving some money. And we have a new opportunity here as well with that uh, full energy, new beginnings as well with the full energy. Uh, what's going on in terms of love? So six of coins, a transaction happening here with the six of coins energy. Um, oh my God, this is really weird because uh, not exactly actually it's not. We have the six of wands for another sign. Uh, transaction, six of coins energy, but some of you guys walking away with the eight of cups energy showing up here. The six of coins shows a transaction and it also shows an in, um, two people engaging. One giving, one taking, okay? Uh, but walking away. It might be also that one, because they've got their firm, firm roles here, so it might be also that you, some of you guys are deciding to walk away from a relationship in which you've given and somebody's taken, but not necessarily the other way around. Um, five of Pentacles. I feel that uh, some of you guys shutting someone out. Five of Coins only, but I get the impression when I look at this card here, it's about feeling more about despair. Okay, I also feel that some of you guys are walking away and shutting someone out and that person's going to end up regretting it because I get the impression that that's that person there. Because Five of Coins, when it comes to love reading, often shows that you're shutting someone out of your life. But there's a great deal of despair here. And also, it also feels with the moon that somebody has time to reflect on why you've actually walked away from them. Probably because you were always giving and they were always taking. Uh, the Eight of Coins, it's giving you a chance to work towards... Six of Swords energy. So moving on. So you're working on moving on. Ace of Coins is all about putting hard work and focus into the Six of Swords. And Six of Swords is moving away and moving on. So what I'm seeing for love is that some of you guys are walking away from a relationship in which you were giving, but you probably weren't receiving. So you were giving, but this person was taking quite a bit. And so you decided to walk away from that. I feel that the Five of Coins shows a lot of despair on both of your parts here. But I feel that you are you decided that even though you might be in despair here, the moon is guiding you to work towards kind of moving on and seeking other passages new. And it could be if it's not you, then it's vice versa, it's the other person. Let's have a look at your work and finance, Aquarius. We've got the Page of Swords. So Page of Swords, this could be an entry-level job or some of you guys may be looking to study. Some of you guys might be initiating new ideas as well with that Page of Swords energy showing up here. Seven of Swords, strategizing. Um, I feel that some of you guys, the Page of Swords is... Uh, and I don't think this is money. I don't think this is money. Uh, Seven of Swords, when that shows up in a money reading, you're having money taken and money is being stolen. If you look at the Page of Swords, this person's coming down on the Seven of Swords. So you might be coming down on a thief this week, for example, the Page of Swords. Or it could be something to do with the law or some legalities. Because I'm looking at that page. Can you see how he's looking, how he's got his sword? Can you see how he's about to strike that Seven of Swords person there? So I get a thief getting caught this week. If you've had money taken erroneously, I think that these two cards are basically just indicating that you're going to receive some news. Perhaps the news is saying that they've found whoever's taken the money or they've found where the money's gone. It might not be that somebody's taken the money. It might be that, you know, uh, money went from your account and suddenly you get an email and it says, you know, we found where the money went, blah, 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 blah. So I'm getting some money problems Getting cleared up with that Page of Swords and the Seven of Swords energy showing here. Uh, either via the law or, you know, via the the, uh, the corporation that's done it or the bank that's done it. I'm also getting with the Page of Swords, if it's work, some of you guys are seeking new opportunities, looking for new opportunities with the Page of Swords energy, putting new ideas out there, strategizing with the Seven of Swords energy showing up here. Uh, the sun. So the sun, I think that a strategy is going to work out really well for some of you guys here. I feel that because with the Page of Swords energy, you've initiated some new ideas here with the Page of Swords. You've put them out there. And also some of you guys have sent emails out for work. You've been strategizing. And I think that if you've been doing a lot of emailing with that Page of Swords, kind of 
going through your CV or your resume with that page of swords. Page of swords is often a written word and emailing and that type of thing. I think that this strategy is going to work for you with the sun energy. I think if it's money, a thief is being exposed with that sun energy showing up there. And you're going to get some news about a thief is being exposed. Uh, let's have a look. Three of coins energy. This is work. Let's have a look. All right, so three of swords. So there's some problems going on within work, though, because the three of coins is work, okay? And this is a review as well. And I'm getting the impression, some of you guys, it might be that there's a, 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 a review that's not particularly positive. Some of you guys are feeling really hurt. It looks, even though it's not review reversed, the reversal of the three of coins shows a, a review of work that's not positive. But with that three of swords, three of swords, can you see how he's trying to heal? He's got his, this guy has had his heart broken. But he's got a plaster over that. So he's trying to heal his heart here. Um, I feel that there's been a review of your work. But you're trying to heal that for some of you guys. So what I'm getting for work is kind of a little bit twofold here. Um, I feel that some of you guys with this Page of Swords energy. Page of Swords is all about researching. Alright. So some of you guys have been researching probably for new work. For example with that Page of Swords. Some of you guys, I'm not going to read this as student or entry level, it doesn't feel like that to me, but you've certainly been researching for a new job and you've been implementing a strategy and I feel that this week it's going to be, uh, it's, going to, it's going to show up for you. I think it's going to be quite positive here and it's going to show up with the sun energy. There's new beginnings, possibly in connection with a strategy that you've put in place in terms of kind of your research methods when it comes to finding work. Uh, however, I think that for some of you, and this is separate, that there might be some heartbreak that you're facing here in terms of a review that's been done on some work that you've done. So there's two things for work. Um, looks like there's something positive happening with the sun energy. It's to do with the strategy that you've been implementing in terms of how you've been looking for work with the Page of Swords energy. What methods, maybe what kind of um, search engines you're using or what type of you know companies you're using to use for work you've implementing a strategy in terms of how you're searching for work with the page of source and it's turning out good here it's bringing all sorts of positive results back however i do feel for some of you you might be feeling heartbroken or a bit sad or disappointed in terms of a review that's been made on your work i feel that if it's a money thing for some of you guys you're getting some news here i think that it's being exposed a thief or where some money has gone because some of you guys lost some money here and i feel that this is being exposed with the sun energy uh showing up here okay uh let's have a quick look at what the angels are saying Universe Spirit, just give me a cohesive sentence for Aquarius. What is your advice for Aquarius in terms of uh, the 29th of July to the 5th of August? What's the advice that you've got for them? Uh, the advice is within the next few weeks, Aquarius, uh, it, they'll be perfect timing. It's the perfect time. Okay, so within the next few weeks, it's it will be perfect timing. Let's have a look at what that perfect timing is for. What's this perfect timing for? It will be the perfect time because there's something better coming along here. Okay. And it tried to show me this card before, but I didn't use it because it didn't make any sense. But now it does. And it says, yes. Let's put these up here. Let's put this here and here and here. Okay. So uh, within the next few weeks, uh, Aquarius, it will be the perfect timing for you. Uh, this will be for something better to come along. So within the next few weeks, it will be the perfect time for something better to come along. In the next few weeks, in the next, sorry, in the next few months, it will be the perfect time for something better to come along. And yes, don't worry about it because within the next few weeks, you're going to have abundance. Okay. Brilliant reading, guys. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you'd like a private reading with me, Please go to my website, uh, the details are in the comment section below, or you can click on the link at the end of the video that pops up. Okay, that's your reading guys, take care, bye bye.